Hey, what's good, y'all? Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these tough times. Now, today, I want to discuss about how f- time flies by, a short time. You know, we look around, man. The world is just moving so fast at a pace that's never been seen before. All these events going on within the country and in, in the world, all the news cycles, Things are just moving so fast. Technology keeps updating and just keep going crazy. And all types of different events are throwing people to the left or throwing people to the right. It's just going. It's just so much going on to a point where we tend, we tend to lose track of time. Because we're so distracted and occupied by things that are, of course, not that important a lot of times. But some, are, some things going on are important. But a lot, at the same time, a lot of things are very time consuming. But just think about your personal life. Think about your where you're at right now in life. Or just think about how fast time fly by. Like, man, you was just a little young kid. You was just a teenager. You was just going to grade school. Look at you now. You're fully grown. You're probably a parent. You probably got a whole family. You're probably married. Whatever your current situation is, just think about how how fast time just flies by. You know, I'm 26 years old, and I'm just like, man, you know, things just happen so fast. You know what I mean? Sometimes we got to sit down and reflect on how slow a certain season in our lives have been or how fast things just happen rapidly and how we how we deal with the adjustments of time, you know. And the thing is, man, I feel like God is speeding things up. So much prophecy being fulfilled, so much things going on all at once. A lot of things have to be fulfilled within this crazy time period that we're in. And we have to have better time management. We have to stop doing things at last minute. We have to stop procrastinating. We have to do things right away. Because with this time that we have, it's so unpredictable. You don't know what's next nowadays. So it's very important for us to cherish our time and not waste it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read some scriptures regarding a short time. And just go from there. The book of James chapter 4 verse 14 Yet you do not know what your life will be like tomorrow You are just a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes away You know, we gotta take it day by day You don't know what a day could bring The book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 For this reason rejoice, O heavens and you who dwell in them Woe to the earth and the sea because the devil has come down to you Having great wrath, knowing that he has only a short time See, the devil knows his time is up and short, so he has to come up and harass and bother and shake up a lot of things out here. But we're still going to prevail. We're still going to win. The most highest people always wins. So the devil could act up all he wanted in a short time. He ain't going to win. He knows that. We have to stay strong, people. You know, the devil is busy, but my God is a busier God. Believe that God is in control. God is the one. That runs everything at the end of the day. So we have to always keep that in remembrance. You know. Can't waste time anymore. Let's see. The book of Genesis chapter 27 verse 44. Stay with him a few days until your brother's fury subsides. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 20. Come my people. Enter in your room. Enter your rooms. And close your doors behind you. Hide for a little while until indignation runs its course. The book of Ezra chapter 9 verse 8. But now for a brief moment grace has been shown from the Lord our God to leave us an unscaped remnant remnant, and to give us a peg in his holy place that our God may enlighten our eyes and grant us a little reviving in our bondage. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 14. So the Lord cuts off head and tail from Israel, both palm branch and bulrush in a single day. Just a little poetry there about how God could easily set something up and just take it away from us. Time flies fast, man. So we have to learn how to cherish things and embrace things and enjoy them while they last. You know, because everything in the flesh, everything that's carnal is temporary, man. Everything comes and goes, man. So... Always got to keep that in mind when you're dealing with time, when we're dealing with this matrix that we're in. The book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 20. Then in his place, one will arise who will send an oppressor through the jewel of his kingdom. Yet within a few days, he will be shattered, though not in anger nor in battle. 
The book of Luke chapter 4 verse 5 And he led him up and showed him all the kings of the world in a moment of time This is when the devil took up Jesus and tempted him And tried to convince him and persuade him to worship him But of course Jesus resists and only praise the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob We don't worship nothing else Just the most high only The book of John chapter 16 verse 18 So they were saying what is this that he says a little while We do not know what he is talking about the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 5 For John baptized with water But you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit Not many days from now So things are planned Things are always in motion Things are always ahead for the next day The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 28 For the Lord will execute his word on earth Thoroughly and quickly I Tell y'all man God is fulfilling things right now as we speak Fast is coming quick As is happening now y'all It's time it's th Things are speeding up out here yo the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 8 For though I caused you sorrow by my letter I do not regret it Though I did regret it for I see that letter That the letter caused you sorrow without Though for only a while So tough times happen for just a certain while Can't hold on to bad moments We have to just keep pressing forward The book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 5 But we did not yield in subjection to them For even in an hour So that the truth of the gospel Will remain with you the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 10 Standing at a distance because of the fear of her torment of her torment, Saying whoa whoa The great city Babylon The strong city For in one hour your judgment has come See a thing in the scriptures in the bible When it talks about an hour and stuff An hour biblically spiritually Is different from the hour that's been given us to this, In this metric time standards See For us an hour may be 60 minutes but biblically, spiritually, an hour may be shorter or it could be longer. At the end of the day, the most highest timing goes beyond man's timing. You feel me? When God wants something to happen, it's going to happen when he wants it to, not on our timing. It's on his timing. But us being down here, we can't waste our time and we can't have bad time management. We have to handle our things and proper due dates and deadlines, you know. We have to live our lives accordingly and always stay advanced, always stay ahead of the curve, you know. Gotta stop wasting time, people. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 19. And they threw dust on their heads and were crying out, weeping and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city in which all who had ships at sea became rich by her wealth. For in one hour she has been laid waste. So when the most high lays judgment and calamity and destruction, it can happen so fast. It can happen in seconds, minutes, hours. It can happen... At any given time, you see more news cycles, you see all these random judgment, all this random disasters, random destruction going on, you know. The most high is really stirring things up out here. So we have to be mindful of how much how precious time is, you know. We can't waste time no more. We gotta stay purposeful, we gotta stay diligent, we gotta stay busy. The book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 10 For they discipline us for a short time as seemed best to them But he disciplines us for our good So that we may share his holiness When the Most High corrects us and disciplines us It's not just for that moment It's forever, you know That 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 correction, the iron sharp is iron That tough love, it's going to stay on you eternally, man You know, that fear of the Most High And wanting to spread that to others, you feel me? That's what we got to do in these times we got to share our experiences with others as well. So they can spend time with the Most High, you feel me? Spend the rest of your life, man, praising the Lord. Now, let's see. You know. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 22. Unless those days had been cut short, no life would have been saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. So that was just Jesus in the book of... Chat, book of Matthew chapter 24 Discussing about the latter times And all the prophecy being fulfilled And how days can be shut, cut short And the lifespan of people will be short as well You know, you see the news You see a bunch of young people dying You know, it's crazy You know, it's, it's wild out here, man You know We gotta make sure we live a full purposeful life for God Before we get out of here Now let's see the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 29 But this I say brethren The time has been shortened So that from now on those who have wives Should be as though they had none 1 Corinthians so time is being shortened 
Now let's see. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 37. For yet in a very little while he is coming. He who is coming will come and he will not delay. So when Jesus returns, it's not going to be postponed. It's not going to be canceled. It's not going to be pushed back. It's not going to be delayed. It's going to it's happen when, you know, it's just going to, Christ going to pull up. And we better be busy while he pull up too. You don't want to get caught slipping. You don't want to get left behind. And let's see. Let's see what we're working with here. You know. Now the book of Matthew. Chapter 27. No, my bad. The book of Proverbs chapter 27 verse 1. Do not boast about tomorrow. For you do not know what a day may bring forth. You know, we got to take it day by day like I did in the previous two messages about a new beginning and a new day, you know. You know, we can't be boasting about, oh, we're going to do this, we're about to go do this, we're about to do that. You don't know what a nice day could bring. So we have to humble ourselves in that manner. We still have to be hopeful, optimistic, but we also have to be grounded and still be practical. You know what I mean? So... I just want to discuss about man how fast time flies, man. Just think about your childhood and your teenage days and just think about how you are right now. Think about where you're currently at in your life right now. Think about like, wow, I would never think I'd be living like this or wow, I, I didn't think I'd be going through this, you know. We got to cherish things, man, and not waste time no more. We have to take things more serious in the time that we do have and benefit and empower people around us. You know what I'm saying? You got the power and influence to change people's lives, man. Don't waste time with it. Don't play around with your purpose. There's people out there that need you and rely on you. So don't waste your time and don't waste other people's time as well. You feel me? Move with a purpose. Move with precision. And move with nice plans. And actionize everything. Stop sitting on stuff and wasting time. Actionize everything. I pray to God that y'all repent. Y'all get baptized. Y'all get the most high. Y'all start your lives over for Jesus. And y'all get on this new path. And really go from there, man. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.